hey this is a multi-part series and i have linked part number one in the video description down below oh and if you want to follow along you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources chat with fellow students and by the way it's completely free so let's start with video right so now that you know your way around nime and that you have built your very first workflow which is what we have covered in module one we are going to dive deeper into automation in this module we're going to cover a lot of stuff so if you want to see what we're all going to cover make sure to stay tuned i'll show you the course map for module number two after the intro So let's quickly recap what we did in the last module. We first talked about why we should use NIME after all, also about a potential proficiency in Microsoft Excel already because of automation. We installed NIME, we had a look at the NIME user interface and how to adjust it, and we built our very first automation. So let's have a look what we're going to do in this module. So in this module, we're going first to talk about the core of NIME, the nodes, how they work, the visual language of NIME, and what you definitely need to remember about working with nodes. We need to get that little theoretical stuff out of the way before we proceed into the nitty gritty in the next chapter, which are the most important nodes for procurement. And we're not going to teach them on a theoretical level. No, we are going to build an active workflow you could use with a little adjustment in your daily procurement life, but more about that in a second. Then, as NIME is working with data a lot, we need to talk about data types. So we have just another reminder of the most important data types that we're going to work with before we then finally go to where, how can we um, extend our knowledge of NIME. So where can we find the NIME community? Where can we find more know-how about Singular knows? And I'm going to share my secret resources, if you want, with you, which are really, really, really helpful. So in the very next lesson of this intro chapter of module two, we are going to talk about what we're going to build together. As I said before, this is something you definitely can use. It's a standard use case in um, reporting, for example, in procurement. And we're going to utilize that in NIME and we're going to heavily automate it. So that's it for this lesson. See you in the next one. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.